Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the top 5 best unique units in Age of Empires 2. This is a really good time to make this video because there's been a lot of changes to unique units over the past few months. Things have been kind of shaken up quite a bit and so I felt like it was a good time to drop this list. And there's actually a lot of really good unique units right now so this list was quite hard to actually come up with. So I had to narrow it down to only 5 with a couple honorable mentions. So as always if your favorite unique unit didn't appear on this list feel free to yell at me in the comments. I actually love to read what you guys have to say. But with all that said let's go ahead and take a look all right starting off at number five we've got the Hasite wagon no i'm just kidding uh, starting off at number five we've got the kamiuk kamiuk has been a unit that i've always felt like was really strong but the recent buffs for incas making the kamiuk overall cheaper has just made it appear into the top five this unit might be here because incas received a big buff and incas are a little bit stronger now thus being more able to get towards the late game where kamiuk becomes a very viable unit maybe that's part of the reason why this unit spiked up the list but Honestly, Mass Kamuk is one of the hardest units to deal with in the game. And I honestly feel like if you have anything that deals with like Arbalest or Heavy Cab Archers, the Kamuk will take care of almost every other unit. You know what I mean? Maybe Hand Cannon can deal with it. But fighting this unit head on is going to be a kind of a suicidal mission. You need something very specific to deal with this unit. Regular infantry, regular cavalry, even a few unique units most often just don't do the trick. So Kamuk for me is a solid number five. Moving on to number four, we've got an all-time classic here. It's the Mangadai for the Mongols. The Mangadai has always been an extremely strong unit, but I think it's kind of got a little power creep. They used to be like almost number one, maybe number two, but it kind of got a little power creep, little nerfs here and there. But overall, I still think it remains at one of the top in the game. And I put it at number four. It's really good early on in Castlage. It's also really good in late game. It has very little weaknesses overall with its damage against siege weapons. So it's really a unit that is a very versatile, very flexible, and kind of carries the Mongols late game composition and is the heart and soul of that civilization for the most part. They have other options, but Mangadai is really what you think about when you talk about the mongols so overall number four slot for this unit and it is my favorite unit so i'm pretty happy to have it there Moving on to number three, this unit absolutely carries the sieve. It's four, and it makes a lot of other sieves struggle against this particular sieve. And when I say it's gonna be obvious, it is indeed the Huskerl. Huskerl single-handedly carries the Goths. Imagine if Goths didn't have Huskerl, and instead they got a, like another unique unit, like a decent one, like the Hussite Wagon. How useless would Goths be in that case? You know what I mean? So when you think of it like that, Huskerl absolutely carries that civilization, and it's kind of a unit that wins you certain matchups on its own, like Goths versus Mines. Game plans very simple. Gots versus most archer civs, you're going to want to play towards Huskerl. Yes, the unit has some counters, and it's not like it's completely overpowered, but I honestly feel like it shapes how Gots are played, and it gives them a lot of good matchups. And for me, the Huskerl is a strong enough unit to merit a number three slot. Another thing about the Huskerl is that it's just so cheap and so spammable. So not only is it just a good unit stats-wise, but it's also very hard to deal with in mass, and the raids can get crazy. It can basically single-handedly win you the game by taking good fights, raiding on the sides, and even killing buildings because it is an infantry. So for me, the Goths and the Huskerl, they go hand in hand, they're one and the same, and Huskerl at number three is a pretty good slot for it. Moving on to number two, this might surprise a lot of people because this unit used to be at my number one when I talked about unique units. It is going to be the Conquistador. Conquistador is a great unit, but it's recently suffered a pretty drastic nerf. It lost one Pierce Armor, the standard version. The elite version still has it. Now, this might seem like a very small and insignificant nerf. However, this kind of makes the Conquistador quite vulnerable to Archer Fire and specifically like TCs and Castle Fire as well. The Conquistador without this nerf, it used to have two pierce armor and so if you can upgrade them from the blacksmith they can get an extra two pierce armor and a four pierce armor unit takes only three damage from a crossbow this means that if your opponent's on crossbow and you get conquistador fully upgraded you can actually close the distance because you're a faster unit take your shot and then just run away and you take very little damage because you're so tanky and you can rinse and repeat and conquistadors ended up doing great against archer units not to mention how efficient they are at killing cavalry units and infantry units so overall conquistadors were a very big pain to deal with for a lot of civs because it just seemingly had no counter. Skirmishers were okay against it. Cav archers, eh, subpar. Monks, if you get lucky, not too bad. Uh, or if you're Mr. Yo. Conquistadors were a powerhouse. Now without that one pierce armor, they still have that one left over. And so they can get up to three pierce armor, which is not bad. Conquistador is still a good unit, but I just feel like it has slightly more weaknesses in castle, which to be honest is a good thing. It's very well balanced now, I feel. It's a strong unit, not overpowered. And you still get that pierce armor in the elite version. So overall, I would say Conquistador is still a great unit, still insane at killing 
Wailing Cav, just a little less effective against archers, makes it a bit more well balanced and leaves it at number two slot. Still a great unique unit and definitely a force to be reckoned with with the Spanish. All right, before I show you guys number one, I wonder how many people can guess it actually. Leave a comment below and see if you guys can guess the number one on the list. Get creative. Uh, but for now, I got a few honorable mentions here. So honorable mention well, number one, it's going to be the lightest. Lightest, I mean, it's just a really strong cav unit. It ignores armor, has 13 base attack, is rather cheap on the gold. It only costs 50 gold, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, lightest is a great unit. And in my opinion, it's one of the best options for Lithuanians going into that mid late game. So I think it's a great unit. Just couldn't make this top five list this time around. It's probably number six, though. Next up, we got the Custodier, another great unit, very similar to the lightest. It's cavalry units. It's not the most expensive on gold. It's quite strong. The charge attack is very good. Running around with Custodier and just sniping off monks, stray units, villagers. It's a kind of a great unit all around. It uh, has very little weaknesses, I feel. And it was very close to making my list and just fell a little short. Uh, next up, we have the Janissary. Janissary received a small nerf recently. It went from eight range to seven range in castle. Again, another great nerf. It's still a strong unit, but it's a bit more well balanced. And it's, uh, yeah, just shy of, of the list as well. It's probably number seven or eight. And uh, Janissary is still a very good unit. I've played against it and with it since the change. And it still feels insanely strong. The only difference now is that you can get converted slightly easier because monks have nine, you have seven instead of your original eights. And you don't outrange Maganels as hard. So you have the same range as a Maganel. But Janissary still do just as well against Maganels because they can one shot them and they don't die to a single shot of Maganel unless you take it head on. Janissaries are still quite solid. They still get the job done. And an honorable mention is solid for them. Moving on to number one, the absolute best unique unit in AoE 2 currently, and it's a unit that I consider to be quite, quite overpowered in a lot of cases. It's going to be the Centurion for the Romans, the new civilization. And of course, it's going to be the most overpowered civilization because it costs you $14 to play it. But <laughs> I mean, all that said, I mean, Centurion is still a great unit, has incredible stats. It's the only unit that has blatantly unfair stats in the game, I think. It has 140 HP in Castle Age. It has three Pierce armor, two melee armor, and 13 attack. Attack. This is crazy. Oh, Hera, it's expensive. What does it cost? 85 gold? I mean, sure, it's expensive, but the knight is 75 gold. You know what I mean? So it's not like it's that expensive to where it's ridiculous and you can't afford it. And I just feel like when it gets on the field, it basically kills everything in Castle Age. I will say the Centurion in Imperial Age is not that much more impressive than like a Paladin, for example. It's, it comes a little bit more balanced in terms of its strength. But in Castle Age, I think the Centurion is completely overpowered, completely unfair. And um, yeah, I, I just think it's... A crazy crazy unit only downside is getting converted because then your opponent has an overpowered unit also last thing i'll say about the centurion it also buffs your infantry so not only does it have incredible stats it also has a hidden power like what is it a league of legends champion it has four abilities now i don't know what's going on with this unit but it's pretty wild very strong unit very very overpowered and i'm not going to call for any nerfs yet because it's still uh, rather new and you know they got to make their bread sell those dlcs so it's all good but for now i'll be using monks against this unit and nothing else because nothing else works <laughs> smiley face uh but yeah, that's going to be it for my top five best unique units in AOE 2. Let me know if you guys agreed in my list and let me know if you disagreed. And uh, yeah, as always, I'm curious to see your comments. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed. Catch you guys next time. Peace.